Hello children. So on this video, I'm planning to cover few construction steps which will be helpful for you to do your monthly test uh, pass paper questions. Right. So first of all, before going for the constructions, I would like to introduce few instruments we need. Now you know already. So this is the protractor, right? Where we uh, used to uh, measure the uh, angles, right? The, here that if you can see uh, the protractor, so you can see the baseline, right? And you have the center of the protractor, okay? And you have two scales around the protractor, inner scale and the outer scale, right? So this is the instrument where we used to measure the angles. And you know this instrument from your childhood. So this is the ruler. And this is the pair of compass where we uh, used to construct the angles and the other required things. Right. So these are the items we need for the construction. And uh, another thing I want to mention you children, normally we use for construction, we use pencil. So you know that in your compass also you, you can have a pencil. But today I use uh, a platinum uh, for this construction because if I use the pencils, sometimes some line lines uh, won't be visible. Therefore, I use this. But keep that in your mind when you are doing, uh, you want to use pencil. That it should be a sharpened one, right? Okay. So then first we will uh, construct an angle of 60. Before that, if you can remember when you were in grade 6, you learned to draw an angle. So drawing an angle and constructing an angle, two different things. You want to identify the, dif the difference first, right? So I will show you how to draw an angle, right? If you want to draw an angle, this is what you want to do, right? You, let's say you want to draw an angle of 60. So then you draw a free line like this, right? And you mark a particular point. Then you want to take the protractor and keep the protractor. Uh, hope all, you, all of you have learned that when you are keeping the protractor, so you, this is your base, the, its baseline, and you keep this baseline along this line, right? And also the center of the protractor. So if I mark this point as A, the center of the protractor should be kept on A, like this, right? Now, can you see that we do have two scales, inner scale and the outer scale, but I'm uh, that drawing the angle, the, the first arm I have this one. So then when I keep the protractor like this, so I want to see that this side, which zero I have, inner zero or outer zero, then I can see that the inner zero is visible. So then I move your finger like this. Okay, then I found 60 degree. And I move my finger and I mark the point like this, right? Then I remove the protractor, take my ruler and join like this. So this is my 60 degree angle, what I did children. I drew an angle of 60, right? So this is not that I drew an angle of 60 using the protractor and the ruler, right? This is how I draw an angle of 60, right? Now I'm going to explain you how I can construct an angle of 60. For that, what should I do? I want to have the compass. First, I draw an angle like this. At this sorry line like this free line and I again I mark the point A okay so then I take my compass and open my compass like this can you see I open my compass like this so then when I take it you know this is the point and I keep the point here on A okay then I draw an arc, children. So you want to do it yeah, like this. 
okay without changing the compass i take the point to this point draw another arc like this hope it is clear then i take this see you want to watch this carefully what i am doing so we can't do this that that hurriedly we can't do that we want to do them with a free mindset so don't be hurry to complete it then you take the protractor and you cross check whether you constructed the 60 degree you keep the protractor like this yes you can see it is 60 degrees so then what you do children you write this as 60 degree right so this is how you construct the angle of 60 now what you want to do you want that if you didn't get the steps properly so then again uh, you can pause the video and replay all the steps and you can do it with me right looking at the screen you can do it with me so this is how we construct the 60 degree on the same paper i'm going to show you how we can construct an angle of 120 you see that this is very easy right the same way i draw a free line okay i draw a free line and mark the point a okay so then i take my compass the same way i open it like this okay so then i keep the point here right so then without changing bring the point to this place draw an arc then again without changing i come here and i draw another arc okay so then see what i'm doing like this okay then again i want to cross check whether my, my construction is correct how can i correct it uh, the check it children i take my uh, uh, protractor and i keep it like this okay right so you keep it now again you want to do the same thing right yeah you want to do the same thing and you measure it from this inner zero like this and yes it is 120 right it shows us 120 that means my angle is correct my construction is correct so i write it as 120 okay now we learn how to construct an angle of 60 an angle of uh, 120 using the compass uh, and the ruler so then i use these two, two instruments for this right so these two instruments so to construct the 60 degree and to construct the 120 degree right okay so then i will move to the next one now first we did how to draw an angle of 60 then we learn how to construct an angle of 60 and how to construct an angle of 120 20 so then next i'm going to do uh, the 90 degree yes see how i'm going to construct the 90 degree angle so then the same way what you can do yeah you draw the line before that we will learn something so before that let's learn how to bisect an angle children what do you mean by that the bisecting an angle so bisecting an angle means you are dividing an angle into two equal parts bisect right so then if i take an angle i'll take the same 60 degree angle which i constructed earlier right for an example so this is that first i draw the line like this so then we can repeat the steps also okay i keep the point here draw the mark like this 
come to this point. Okay, so then now I have the 60 degree angle. Now I want to bisect this angle. When I bisect this angle, what happened, children? When I bisect this angle, what will happen? So this will be divided into two parts. So then how can I do that? I take the compass, see what I'm doing, right? So then I come here to this point. I didn't change the compass, right? And I come to this point. Okay. Again, I'm showing. So first you can draw an arc like this and you come to this point and you draw the other arc like this. Then you can join these two points. Like this, okay. Then you want to measure whether your that you bisected the angle sixty. Then it should be thirty and thirty. I measure whether yeah, it's exactly thirty degrees and thirty degrees. Yes, you can see. So from here to here it is thirty. Then here to here it is that again another thirty. So then I can see. Then this is thirty degrees. What I did, I bisected the angle. Uh, 60. Now then if you want to that uh, practice it again, what we can do, we will take another angle, right? First, I will draw an angle this time, right? Now you know how to draw the angles, right? I will draw an angle like this. Let's say I am going to draw um, 40 degree, right? I keep the protractor not will take 140, right? We'll take that from here. I measure 140. Yeah, it's like this, 140. Okay. And I keep the ruler. This is my 140 angle. Now, what should I do? I want to bisect this. How can I do that, right? I keep the point here. Look at this, what I'm doing. Hope you can see. Wait, I will adjust my paper. Right. So then what should I do? I keep the point here. Can you see? And see what I'm doing. Draw an arc here. And another arc here. Okay. So then what you should do, that you can open it a little bit more. Right, and like this. Can you remember what I did? First, I kept the compass point here and I draw two arcs like this. Okay, then I open it a little bit more like this. So then I come, came to this point and draw this arc. Without changing it, I came to this point. And I do the now what I do, I join that line. Yeah. I want to check whether I have done it correctly. I keep yeah. Now can you see? So then from zero it is 70, and from here to here that here another 70. So that means I have bisected it correctly. So then this should be 70 degrees, right? So then first I bisected the 60 degree angle and I had 30 and 30. Then I bisected 140 angle. So then I, I should get that 70 and 70 and I measured it and I got it as 70, right? So this is how we bisect an angle, right? So then the next page I will show you how to bisect a line, the same thing children. So earlier we talked about bisecting an angle. What does that mean? We are dividing an angle into two equal parts. The same way 
if I am bisecting an angle, what it is, I am bisecting, I am dividing that line. So I have, bisecting a line means I am dividing that line into two equal parts. For an example, let's say I'm going to have 10 centimeter line. First, I draw the free line and I mark a particular point, let's say AB line, the line is AB. That I want to have 10 centimeters. So then you know, without that using the com uh, compass, I'm going to show you how to draw the line. You keep the point here on zero, right? And you open your compass, right? You open your compass like this. Up to what? Up to 10. Right. Yes. So then you keep the point here and draw this up. Okay. Then we have yeah, 10 centimeter line and I mark it as B. Can you see? Yeah. Now I want to bisect this angle. So then this is 10 centimeters. I write it as the 10 centimeter line. Right, so then AB is 10 centimeter. Here I write AB line is 10 centimeters. Right, okay. So then I want to bisect it. I take my compass and you see I keep here. Now I have 10 centimeter. So I just move it like this. It's like that uh, the length is like, it's not exactly the new. Don't want to measure this children. So you keep that open it like a three quarter of the line. See what I'm doing. You draw an arc like this to this side. And you draw an arc down. And without changing your compass, you come to B. And do something like this, right? Then, Right. Okay. So then you see that if I mark this point as O, this point as O. So shall we measure that AO? AO. It's exactly 5 centimeters. OB, 5 centimeters. What happened? Now AO is equal to OB. Okay. So then here AO is five centimeter and OB, it is five centimeter. And if you measure this angle, you can see something special children. Can you see it is 90 degree, right? This is 90 degree. We name this as the, now this is the bisector, right? This line may be bisected by this line. Let, if I mark this as, for an example, PQ, right? So then line AB bisected by this PQ. We call this the bisector. As we can see 90 degree here, we name him a different way. What we call that is a perpendicular bisector. Right? So then this is perpendicular bisector, right? So then this is how you will be, we have 90 degree and this line uh, divided the original AB line into two parts, five centimeter and five centimeter. You can check this with any that any number of centimeter. Let's say AB is eight centimeters. AB is six centimeters. Then you can check it and you can practice it and don't, that wait till the exam day to do all these things. I watched the video, so she explained it nicely that I'm going to do everything on the exam day. Don't wait like that, children. You want to practice again and again, right? So you can pause the video and you can do it by yourself. Then if you feel that this is not neat and then you can do it again, you can see that all the constructions, they are very neat, right? So whatever the construction I had earlier, you can see. So this paper and everything should be neat. 
And again, I'm recalling that you can't use the platinum or the pens. I'm using them because that if I use the pencil, it is not visible for you in the video. That's what I use the platinums. But you want to use the pencil and you can't that erase it again and again. Don't do like this. So you should have enough confidence to do this one that uh, for the first time that on the exam day you cannot that repeat the that uh, redo that the same thing on the line so then it's ugly right so this is how we want to do now we bisected here angles 60 degree bisected 60 degree angle bisected 30 and 30 140 bisected 70 and 70 then we bisected the line a b into 5 centimeter 5 centimeter Right now we can go to 90 degree angle. See what I'm doing. Okay. Now you have the same thing like this. See carefully what I'm doing. Right, and I mark the point A like earlier. And I take my compass. Now quickly I'm doing it because you know the steps. I adjust my compass like this. Okay, See, see what I'm doing, children. Now you know this arc is 60 degree arc now. So then when I have another 60 degree, you know that is 120 because already we did that. So from here to here, it is 60. From here to here, you have another 60, right? So then altogether, it is 120. From here to here, it is altogether 120. From here to here, it is 60. And this point to this point, again, it is 60. But I want to construct 90 degree. So then from here to here, if I take 60, another 30 degrees I need. How can I have 30 degrees? Can you think? Now here, from here to here, if it is 60, if I bisect this angle, right, I can have 30 here and 30 here. Then what I can do, I can add this 30 with 60 to have the 90 degree. We'll see how we can do that. Now I'm going to bisect this one. So this is the angle I have. So see, you don't want to change. If need, you can make it a little bit bigger. Right. Right. Now what happened? I want to check what I drew. Exactly it is 90. Can you see children? Exactly it is 90. So then I can write 90 here. But you know, then when it comes to the 90 degree angle, we don't write the value. Instead, we use the square like this. Right? Hope you can that uh, understood. You can understand what I did. Yes. Draw the line and mark the point A, then draw the arc and take 60 degree arc, 120 arc. Then if I have 60 degree, I need another 30. To get that 30, what I did, I bisected this 60. So using draw the using these two arcs and I join it. So this is how I get uh, 90 degree. Now children, I'm going to show you that few different the types of angle that how can I have. So now I'm not uh, dis explaining this, right? You just see what I'm doing, right? So then first I have 60 degree. You see what I'm doing. I have 60 degree. I'm not explaining. You just see what I'm doing. Yes, it is 60. Now I want to have 30 degree. So I know to have 30 degree, I want to bisect this 60. Right? So then what I do, keep my point here. Mm 
if you want to share it, you can see it is 30 now. So this angle is 30, right? So this angle is 30. That means altogether it is 60. Now, see what I'm doing. I'm going to have the different ways, children. So then you can have different tips for this. <coughs> Sorry. I take it like this. A. And take it like this. Okay. So then you have 120. I'm going to bisect the 120 angle. You know that when I bisect 120, what will happen? I, I make it a little bit bigger. So then I come to this point. What happened? Earlier I had 120, then I bisected it. So then I got 60 and 60. If you want to that cross check whether it is correct. Sorry, to this side. 60 and 120. So then I write here 60 and 60. Then I'm going to show you another one. Look at this. I'll take another paper. <coughs> you have the line like this. See what I'm doing, children. Right, now I have 60 arc and 120 arc, right? 60 I have, then 121. I bisect this one, how? I make it a little bit bigger. Right, so then... Okay. But it is 90 degrees, right? If you measure this, you can see it is 90 degrees. Okay. Now I am going to have that the 45. To have 45, what should I do, children? I want to bisect 90 degrees, right? So then here. Okay. And you come to this point. Then take the um, protractor and measure. Hope you can see it is 45 and 45. So I write here 45 and 45. Okay. So then we learn how to construct an angle of 90 and how to bisect it. So with that, we can have 45, 45 degrees, right? Mm -hmm. Another steps you can find in your textbook. Let's say you have, a, this is a little bit confusing for some children. So therefore, look at this carefully. You have line AB here, right? Line AB. Okay, we don't know that the length but there is a point called C. There is a point called C. So this is the point C. Okay. You want to drop a perpendicular. So from C to line AB. Right. So then what you should do. See that you keep your point here. Right. So then 
do it like this. And we'll keep here. Let's see what I'm doing. Okay. And we'll draw another ink like this. Okay, that my point is on C now. I drew two arcs here. Then I come to this point and draw another arc. And I come to this point and draw another arc. And what happened if I measure this? It's 90 degrees. What I did, I drop a perpendicular from point C to line AB. So I repeat the steps. So this is the line we do have AB, and there is a point called C. Okay. So then I kept my point on C and I drew the arc. So then try to uh, have these two arcs inside that AB distance, right? So then I had the two arcs. Then without changing my compass, I came here, draw an arc, draw an arc. So then like this, then I join it from C, okay? So these are the steps and these are the construction steps you uh, you can find in your grade six and seven book six and seven book so then uh, with the next video i will explain you uh, all the past paper questions related to construction till then what you want to do children go through the video pause it and do it by yourself so then uh, 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 the next video i want to explain you that how to do the uh, angles also okay we'll do like this we will complete the triangles also with the same video then you know everything straight away we can move to the uh, past papers right so here let's say you have a b c uh, triangle so these are the information you have a b c triangle you have this is how they know give you right a b c triangle and that they will give you angle a Angle A, it is 60 degree, okay? So then let's say angle C, it is, let's say, 30 degree, right? So then AC line, it is 5 centimeter for an example. Now these are the information available for you, right? First thing what you want to do, children, you draw a rough sketch. Right, so you draw a rough sketch that when you are drawing the rough sketch, you can do it without the rule also, right? So you can draw the rough sketch like this and mark all the information available here that the side diam it is available for me AC. So and I take it AC here, then it's easier for me to construct the rest of the. Uh, triangle item. So then here I write it as 5 centimeter and angle A it is 60 degrees and this is 30 degrees and this should be B. This is the rough sketch I have for my construction now. Okay, so then I draw the free line. Okay, I draw the free line. Then I mark point A, right? So then here, how we are going to have 60 and 30 will depend on the question instruction. Some question they have asked you to that do this with the protractor and the ruler. Some questions they are asking you, they have asked you to do this with the compass, right? So then if you use the uh, protractor you know how to do this you keep the rule and you mark the 60 degree here then you come to here so first I will do it like that then I will do the same thing using the compass let's say if you want to use the uh, protractor you keep it like this mark 60 degrees this is 60 degrees right and I draw the line like this. So then uh, 
I mark five centimeters here. This is point C and I keep the protractor here. Now this time I want to get the outer scale children, right? So you want to keep that in your mind. So then this should be 30, 30 here. So then I join. So this is B, and this is 60, and this is 30, and this is 5 centimeters. Right? So this is how you construct this triangle using the ruler and the protractor. Right? Hope you can remember the information. ABC triangle, A angle is 60 degree, C angle is 30 degree. And the AC line is 5 centimeters, right? You know that uh, the basic information available for us. Now I'm going to construct the same triangle using the compass, right? So then again, when you are doing it, you want to have the rough sketch like this. But as I have the rough sketch here, I'm not going to have it straight away. I'm going for the construction. See what I'm doing, children? I have the free line and I mark point A and I take the compass and measure five centimeters like this. Yes, it's five centimeters. And I draw the arc like this. So that is point C. Okay, see what I'm doing. This is an interesting Topic children, if you do it correctly, you see what I'm doing. Okay. So that is my 60 degree. Then I come to this point. I do the same thing. I have 60 mark and I want to bisect it. So I have the 30 degree. So this is the point B. So this is 60 now. This is 30. And this is 5 centimeters. So this is my construction hope. You can see that how it is neat, right? But most of the time that you don't get 60, 30 kind of this, the, uh, the, these values, we know how to construct exactly using the compass. But sometimes, let's say, you got 62 and 35, then we don't know how to construct them with the compass. No? In that case, definitely you have to use the protractor and you want to mark it like that and do your construction. So in the exam, if you get that odd numbers like 67, 35, like odd numbers where you cannot construct these type of triangles using the compass, definitely they will ask you to use the protractor and do it, right? But let's say that if you have that the angles which we can construct using the compass like 30, 60, 45, 90, in that case, most of the time they will ask you to use the compass and do it, right? So this is one type of triangle where you had two angles and one side, right? Two angles and one side. Now there is another point we can have. Uh, this same ABC triangle, right? This time you have uh, AB, let's say 8 centimeters, right? AB 8 centimeters. So then you have uh, AC 6 centimeters, right? So then angle A is, let's say, this time I will take it as 50 degrees, right? 
Now, what you want to do, first you want to have the rough sketch, right? You want to have the rough sketch like this. Just draw it, right? You don't want to think much that uh, though I use the ruler, you don't want to use the ruler uh, to have the rough sketch A, B, and C. So then A, B is 8 centimeters and A, C is 6 centimeters and this is 50 degrees. So these are the available information for you. So then what I do, children, I... Draw a free line and mark point A. Okay. Then I measure 8 centimeter. So then this is B. Okay. Then I want to have 50 degrees. I keep that 50, I cannot uh, construct using the compass. So I take my protractor and mark 50 degree from here. This one. Then C should be somewhere on this line, that distance is six centimeters. Therefore, I measure six centimeters again, like this. Hope you can see my roller. Right. And this is 50 degree, and this is point C, and this is 8 centimeters, and this is 6 centimeters. Understand? Always you look at the neatness of the construction, right? That is very important. Accuracy and the neatness, right? I drew the line and I marked point A, then I uh, get, got this curve. Then I measured 50 degrees and I drew the line. Then I measured six centimeters and I drew the arc. Then that should be the point where we can see point C. So then I drew that line. So now I have the ABC triangle So with the available information. The next type you may be having children, ABC triangle, right? Let's say we are AB. Uh, is 10 centimeters. So then AC, it is 7 centimeters. Then BC, it is 5 centimeters. Right? Now you have three sides. So these are the, so you get the information in three different ways. That's what I wanted to show you. Right? You have learned these things when you were in grade 6, but I'm recalling you. So then just have it like this. A, B. I take the longest line out of these three to this one. It's easier for me to manage the construction. So then this is seven centimeters. My rough sketch is not accurate, children, because the BC should be the smallest one. But you can't see it like that. It doesn't matter. So it's better if you can have the rough sketch also as that uh, it, it should be an accurate one as much as possible. Right. Mark point A, see what I'm doing, children. So take the compass, measure 10 centimeters like this. Come to this point, draw this up and mark it as B. Okay, then you measure seven centimeters. You keep it like this and measure seven centimeters. Okay. Draw an arc like this. 
So then you measure five centimeters. Now what happened? They didn't intersected each other. So then what should I do? Then seven again. Yeah, okay. Join the one like this. Okay, sorry about this. Right, so then you have this is point C, and this is seven centimeter, and this is five centimeter, and this is ten centimeters. Okay, children. Now we are done with the, all the construction steps which is required, which are required for your monthly test, pass paper question, the questions, right? So then I'll come back to you with the pass paper questions. Please go through. If you really feel that you, that you just see that the, from the beginning what I did, I drew an angle of 60, then I constructed an angle of 60, constructed an angle of 120. So then I bisected them, the angles. So then I bisected the line with the perpendicular bisector. So then I explain you how to uh, have the 90 degree, right? So then again, we bisected and here, the 45, 45. Then we learn how to drop a perpendicular from point C, okay? So then we had different types of triangles. So then the different information available for us and how we can have this. So you can watch this carefully. You have the long weekend also just before your monthly test. So you can go through the video again and be that uh, thorough with all the steps. And I will come back to you with the past paper questions related to construction. Okay, children, see you then. Uh, stay safe. Keep in touch to see all the past paper answers. Uh, 2019 October monthly test, 20 and 21. See you, children.